Hey everyone, how's it going? It is your host, the King Carp here, and we are back with another BDSP moveset overview video. And this time, uh, we're looking at Mammoth Swine. So, I've been loving BDSP. I think it's uh, a lot of fun. It's really great. For me personally, um, I started playing, obviously I took a really large hiatus in the middle, but I started playing actually at the end of Gen 5, um, beginning of Gen 6. So, it's really cool to see a lot of these Pokemon that were OU back then, you know, having their time in the spotlight again. It's, you know, it's just really great to see, you know, there's no Toxapex, there's no Pharaoh Seed um, that prevents certain Pokemon from being, you know, OU and being dangerous in OU, that is. So, it's really nice to see. And today, we're looking at Mamoswine. So, Mamoswine is a really cool Pokemon. I've always loved it. I loved its design when it came out, I think in Gen 4. Um, I think it just has uh, an excellent typing. Ice is one of the best offensive typings, and Ground is one of the uh, another one of the best offensive typings and having those offset each other um, when it comes to stealth rock weakness is really huge for Mamo. Um, and of course it just has really great stats. 110 HP gives it really solid mixed bulk. 130 attack is insane, especially when you're able to run adamant on that, you're hitting almost 400 attack. And then of course 80 speed is pretty decent considering um, considering things aren't as fast um, in this metagame. So Mamo has a lot of really great qualities. There's a lot of Pokemon running around. Uh, there's a lot of guard charms. There's a lot of Gly Glyscore. Um, there's just a lot. Heatran, you know, there's just a lot. The Lottie twins, sorry, I just keep thinking of stuff. But there's so many Pokemon that are weak to that, very weak to that ground and ice coverage that Mamo gets. So here are a couple of over uh, moveset overviews. And of course, there is going to be a video in the near future when I try out these sets. I'm going to go through a couple teams and see if you can make Mamo work on the ladder. So the first set I have here is a Focus Ash standard Mamo Swine lead. Um, However, there, even though all these uh, sets are going to look very similar, there are some mild differences, so make sure you guys are paying attention. Of course, um, I will be going through everything. So when it comes to item, Focus Ash obviously is going to let you, hit, you know, take anything from full as long as you're you know, if you're at full HP, you can live at one. And this can be a really great lead, right? You lead off with Focus Ash, um, it's not going to be hit by rocks or anything, and you're able to set up your Stealth Rock, which is going to help you for the rest of the game. What is also good is when it comes to the uh, the uh, ability here, you know, Mamoswine has a couple of really good options, uh, Oblivious or Thick Fat, and I think in the lead position, if you're leading off with um, ammo, I would personally go with Oblivious, just because it cannot be infatuated or taunted. So a lot of things that are running around right now, like I personally just use an Azel video, or excuse me, I just use an Azel in, in, in our Infernape Spotlight video, which runs ta uh, taunt for these uh, for these lead Pokemon. So having Oblivious there to just ignore taunt and allow you to put up rocks no matter what, I think is really really useful and really really great. Really, really great. So of course uh, there's the added benefit. It got it got. Um, buffed a little bit you're actually immune to intimidate now so not that there's too many intimidate mons um considering you know lando t isn't here but um it is still nice gyarados salamence are still um uh, legal and they have intimidate so being able to block that i think is really good in the in the opening spot so there's that um when it comes to the set um and move set we have stealth rock standard and then we have your stabs you know earthquake icicle crash and ice shard i don't think there's a better stab than icicle crash um, Ice Fang is just too weak. Icicle Spear is too inconsistent. Icicle Crash does give you the risk of, you know, 90% accurate, um, but does have a 30% chance to flinch. So, and it's pretty strong, 85 base power. So I think that's your best option. Ice Shard is also really great. Gives you that priority, which I think is super useful. On this set and only on this set, I could say that you could forego Icicle Crash for Endeavor. And this works really, oh wait, no, Endeavor is not really cool. Never mind. So <laughs> I just, I, I think Icicle Crash is your best option here. So yeah, I wouldn't, I think maybe in the future Endeavor could be useful um, with this when you pair it with Focus Sash. You, know, you, you go down to one, you can Endeavor. But for right now, um, before all those things kind of come out and become available, this is the optimal set. So Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Icicle Crash, and Ice Shard. So that's that in terms of lead. And then here we are with a, Mammoth Swine set. This is a just offensive set. It doesn't run rocks. And I think this is actually really great because it is Life Orb this time. And instead of uh, Oblivious, which gives you immune to taunt, since we have nothing that can be really taunted, I opted for Thick Fat here. Just going to help you uh, when it comes to taking, you know, fire type moves, ice type moves that are kind of around, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's a couple stray ones here and there, you know, ice beams from Lottie, uh, maybe like a lava plume from a Heatran, whatever it may be. You're just going to take those a little bit better. It gives you a couple more life orb hits, which is perfect. When it comes to your coverage options, you're going to go with the same standard three moves, Earthquake, Icicle Crash, and Ice Shard. The only thing that I'm changing here is actually Freeze Dry, which is a special move, but it is super effective on water. And this can be really useful considering the fact that there are a ton <laughs> of Swampert 
and there are a ton of gastron running around. So with Life Orb and a hasty na or a lonely nature, you are able to um, do I think usually two hit KO those every single time and potentially Oko them depending on their spread. And the reason I put these 12 HP or sorry 12 special attack points is actually that this allows you to two hit KO, uh, max HP, Rotom Wash after rocks and leftovers. So if a Rotom Wash comes in on you, you can freeze dry it on the switch. It's going to basically kill it in two. Um, you do have to be careful of the fact that um, basically uh, it can knock you out. If it, if it ends up being faster, it can knock you out with um, uh, it can knock you out with Hydro Pump. So you do need to be careful of that. But besides that, I think that's a, a this can be a really great option just catching that on the switch, especially if you can confirm that this thing is bulky in some capacity, maybe like a bulky physically defensive. And if you are scared of Rotom Wash, there is always the potential for you to run uh, a plus speed nature here. But the thing is, a lot of Rotoms, if they are running speed, they are going to be fully sp uh, full, like max out on speed, um, meaning that you're still not going to outspeed them. So I think it might be better just to save and give yourself the adamant or the plus attack, excuse me, um, to you know get the maximum da damage output. But I still think Freeze Dry is a great option, especially when you're looking to break past Rotom. You can get it on the switch. You can snipe things like um, Pelipper is also very common. So being able to hit that, I think is really great four times super effectively. It's really great con considering how great Rain is right now. And of course, Swampert and Gastrodon. So I think this is a really great set. I think personally, I think this might be Mamoswine's strongest set, but um, and when it comes to coverage, there's not really better options. There are a few things, and we're going to mention those in the next uh, next couple things. But uh, but besides that, I think freeze dry is a really great option given the metagame and the state that it is in. So here we are with the uh, the next set that I have for Mamo, and everything here is pretty much the same. I forgot to fill in the EV spread, but as you can imagine, it's 252 plus. Um, and the only thing that's really different here is that we're running Stone Edge. Stone Edge gives you the ability to hit um, fire types, so things like Zard, things like um, Moltres, things like that basically. It's not the most useful, I'm not going to deny that. It's not like it's the best coverage option, but considering you have a fourth move slot and there really isn't anything else, superpower isn't available for your Mammo, uh, Stone Edge just gives you the ability to hit, um, you know, things like, you know, basically just fire types a little bit harder, um, but most of the time you're just going to be using these three attacks. So if you wanted to opt for something else, which I'm actually going to point out in the next moveset, you can do that, but I think personally this set is completely fine and it can do a lot of work. You can also opt to make this a choice mindset and just really get, maximize your damage output. Um, Earthquake, Icicle Crash, and Ice Shard are going to do a ton. The priority, this choice band, Ice Shard will do a ton of damage. I think it might Oko uh, Latios or Latios from After Rocks, which I think is really great. So I think this can this all out offensive set can also work really well. Um, given, uh, given how powerful Mammo is with that 130 attack, especially Adamant. And here's the last set. This is a set that I think could be interesting. As we mentioned earlier, uh, Mamo doesn't have a lot of really great options when it comes to that fourth move. So, and considering the fact that considering the fact that Mamo also forces a lot of switches, um, substitute can be a really really great option. Um, considering you know the fact that you know if you have it coming on a heat trend, it's probably going to switch out. You can sub up as they go, let's say, into their Breloom. Um, you know, and that way, once you sub up on the Breloom, they can't mock punch you, and then you can just knock them out with an ice little crash pretty easily. When it comes to the item here, I think leftovers is the superior item when it, when you're running a substitute set. You can also go, you can also opt for never melt ice if you want to kind of boost the power of your ice type moves. Um, so I think either one could work, but personally, I would lean towards leftovers, just giving you that longevity. Um, you know, to set up a couple of more subs, you know, throughout the course of a game, leftovers will probably allow you to set up one additional sub, which can be really, really useful. So, yeah, I think this set has a lot of uh, ups, uh, has a lot of pros. I think it may be the weakest out of these sets. Um, however, I think that it can really prove useful because a Mammo is really dangerous and a Mammo behind the sub is even more dangerous. So, yeah, I think that's the four biggest sets that I was thinking about. Focus Sash Lead, I think, will be really useful. Um, Life Orb with Freeze Dry um, with the special EV spread will do a lot of damage and will help against met metagame threats. Fully offensive Life Orb or Choice Band here with Stone Edge in the last slot, I think, is great. Um, is going to do a lot of work as well. And of course, you have the last set with a substitute. If I had to rate these, you know, one through four in terms of effectiveness, I would say this set is the number one most effective. Number two is probably the Focus Sash set. The number three option I actually would probably give to Substitute 
just because of how many switches Mammo forces. And of course, number four would go to Choice Band. But that's all I have for you guys today. Do be on the lookout uh, for the video that I'm going to do, I think, probably tomorrow, tomorrow evening, where I actually go on the BDSP OU ladder and la ladder up with Mammo and try out some of these sets and see how it all works out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if you have any sort of suggestions or your own sets that you think would be great with Mammo. I'm always, you know, open to open to suggestions and I always am on the lookout for new and exciting sets. So definitely happy to take those up. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.